The French film See You Up There, Au Revoir La O, is a skillful adaptation of a prize-winning novel of the same name by Pierre Lemaitre, who collaborated with director and leading actor Albert Dupontel on the very well-constructed screenplay. Set in the period immediately after World War I, the film explores themes that are still sensitive today, such as the way in which the burials of the many thousands who were killed in combat were handled, and the creation of memorials to the fallen. But that makes the film sound darker than it actually is. Although it deals with war and its aftermath, Dupontel's touch is light, and the film is so beautifully designed and photographed that watching it constitutes sheer pleasure. It opens in Morocco in November 1920. Albert Maillard, that's Dupontel himself, is being interviewed by the local chief of police, André Marcon, and tells the story of his friendship with Edouard Pericor, Nahuel Perez Biscayar, whom he met while both were fighting the Germans over a useless piece of dirt known as Hill 113. It's November the 9th, 1918, two days before the armistice, and already both sides are reluctant to fight as it's become obvious that the war is almost over. This doesn't suit well with the fanatical Lieutenant Pradel, Laurent Lafitte, who actually enjoys war. He sends a couple of his men on a useless mission to reconnoitre the enemy, and when they hesitate, shoots them in the back, literally triggering a violent confrontation between the opposing forces. In the course of this mini-battle, Edouard saves the life of Albert, but receives a severe gunshot wound that destroys the lower part of his face. Before the war, Edouard, whose hated father, Marcel, Niels Aristrup, is a wealthy and influential businessman, dabbled as an artist. Now he's suicidal until Albert comes to the rescue, finding a new identity for his friend and helping him survive in an attic where he makes for himself increasingly elaborate masks to cover his shattered face. Albert makes ends meet by finding odd jobs, and the pair are befriended by Louise, Eloise Balster, an orphaned girl. Now again, the above probably makes the film sound grim and downbeat, but in fact the mood is for the most part expansive and lightly humorous. It's an epic tale of friendship and family conflict, and the expensive-looking production has been lavishly assembled with production design, costumes, and above all, Vincent Matthias' very fluid camera work, all outstanding. And there's a hilarious cameo from Gilles Gaston Dreyfus as a corrupt mayor who can't make a move without the approval of the manipulative pericle. I'm giving See You Up There four stars. <laughs> <laughs>